Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you what is basically the easiest $33 an hour you can make right now. And you also, of course, get to work from home doing this. And what you can do is check out a company called DHL, which is a, it's a delivery service company and shipping company. And they have a customer service representative that allows you to work completely from home available right now. And what you would do is interact with customers to provide information in response to inquiries about products and services, and you'll resolve these issues. You'll also complete adjustments and provide customer education, and you'll interact with sales, customer, and operations to resolve mail hold issues as well. Now, if you look at the bottom of this, it says $20.52 to $32.83 per hour. So you're looking at a job that could, it's probably, you know, it's got a lot more pay potential than most customer support jobs like these. So you also get really good benefits as well. So you get competitive pay, bonus programs, retirement savings, 401k, medical, dental, and vision, FSA and HSA, tuition reimbursement, paid time off, company paid holidays and floating holidays. You have paid parental leave, employee discount program, employee assistance and work life program, short-term and long-term disability and life insurance. So really good benefits here as well. They don't really require much as far as what you have to have, proficiency in Microsoft Office, general SAP knowledge, excellent verbal and written communication skills, analytical, critical thinking, time management, teamwork and organizational skills and detail oriented as well. They want you to have a high school diploma or equivalent and two to four years related work experience. Now you will be doing basically email and phone related customer support. So this is going to be like invoicing rates, international proof of posting, domestic and international tracking, research and things like that. You may also sale, assist sales reps with customer requests and that's essentially what you're doing. So you can also, of course, just kind of check this out on your own time, but it's essentially a customer support job and they're just going to list every little thing that you do but the requirements are not too crazy you get really good benefits and you get some really good pay potential here as well for a well-established company that's been around for decades and as far as more information about what it's like to work here they have 1.9 thousand reviews and they have an overall rating that is 3.9 out of 5 stars 73 percent recommend working here to a friend and then you have uh, benefit ratings here as well. Obviously, that's a good thing to look at at all times. 3.4 out of 5 stars, 41 ratings. Pretty solid as far as their benefit ratings. And as far as what it's like to actually interview here, 2.6 out of 5 difficulty. And the majority of people had a really positive experience interviewing here. So if you're looking for customer support, you can also find that a few people have left feedback on what they were um, going through in an interview. They said they had a 2.8 out of 5 difficulty rating. Most people gave it a positive experience. Um, this one, customer service rep interview here. Do you have, this one obviously would not apply. This question is for people who work in office. And then this one is just, you know, tell me about yourself. So not a whole lot to go on as far as questions yet, but it looks like a pretty good company overall in terms of ratings. Another job to check out is at Cigna.com. So obviously the first job I would say is the primary one in this video, but this is another one that's very similar and actually requires pretty much no experience to apply. And, but the pay is gonna be slightly less. So, but Cigna is a very big healthcare company. You've probably heard of them. And as far as the job, they have a customer service rep here as well that's hiring right now. And for this one, you are going to handle and verify patient records and secure confidentiality for each call. So you will be doing some call support as well. They'll also provide a script and everything it looks like. And you also attend 100% of eight week training. So you will have some training to, to do, which should be at home. We'll include live call participation training. So it sounds like that's all from home. And this is mostly gonna be virtual in the United States. Qualifications for this customer support job, high school diploma or equivalent, prior customer service background is strongly preferred but not necessarily required. Intermediate proficiency in Microsoft Outlook, which is obviously uh, the Microsoft Office email service. Excellent customer focus orientation with ability to diffuse difficult callers. Takes accountability and ownership to efficiently solve problems. Engaged, coachable, upbeat attitude team player, flexible, open-minded, self-confident. Other than that, 
you get to work from home and as far as benefits you also enjoy comprehensive range of benefits so this has to do with you know this is stuff that actually starts on day one of your employment which is nice some companies delay that but you'll be offered several health related benefits including medical vision dental and behavioral health programs. They also offer 401k with company match, company paid wife insurance, tuition reimbursement, minimum of 18 days of paid time off per year and paid holidays. So you can go to the Life at Cigna group and see more information about that. And they'll have all of your um, benefits and everything listed here. But it seems like a pretty good company to work for. And as far as how much you could get paid here, typically a customer service rep here averages around $19 per hour. So like I said, not as much pay potential where you could earn up to 33 or so at DHL, but also less required to apply. So you might have an easier time getting this job than you do the other one. 3.6 out of five stars, 64% recommend working here to a friend. So pretty good ratings overall. 3.7 out of five stars for their benefits. Pretty good there as well. And then the interview process here is a 2.9 out of 5 difficulty rating. 63% had a positive experience here. You also have a lot of information about customer support here. So if you want to look at how difficult is it to get a customer service job, 2.5 out of 5 stars, right at average. 66% of people had a positive experience interviewing for these jobs. Um, some people were asked, you know, do the training hours and post training schedule work for you? Tell me about a time, something, something. They didn't really go into detail there. How do you handle a customer who con who continues to be rough? Star method was used for interviews, so you can Google that. Please send us your availability for an interview. Tell me about a time you had to deal with a frustrating customer and how you handled it. Why do you want to work here? And asked about experience and availability. Biggest challenge and how did you overcome that? So those are some things you might get asked in an interview here. So hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home opportunities like these and I'll see you in the next video.